If you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up to the book of Romans. The book of Romans. And uh, this upcoming Sunday here at Calvary Chapel, I know many of you who watch the devotions may not physically be here with us on a Sunday, but we're going to be Again, our Sunday morning studies in the book of Romans, chapter by chapter, book by book, and it's going to be so exciting. God has a plan to open our eyes, open our hearts to grace. You know, the book of Romans is all about getting off of roller coaster Christianity and realizing this is a walk with our Heavenly Father by grace through faith. And we're going to supplement our studies in Romans uh, with a, a devotional series called Highlights through the Book of Romans. It's basically the verses in Romans that, man, I highlight, that are the big verses. We're going to take it slowly, look at it devotionally. Um, as we learn the Book of Romans doctrinally, we're also going to look for God's Word to fill our hearts and change us devotionally in our hearts. We want to give Him our hearts. So today we're going to be in Romans chapter 1, interestingly, verse 1 and 2. And it says, Paul... That's the writer of Romans, Paul, a bondservant of Jesus Christ. That's the word doulos, doulos. You know, it's, it's a chosen servant. Paul says, listen, I've chosen to serve the Lord. I've chosen, I've realized better is one day in your house, Lord, than a thousand days anywhere else. And Paul says, I'm a bondservant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, he says, called to be an apostle. Now listen, if Paul wasn't called to be an apostle, and for you, 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 you probably aren't called to be an apostle. Maybe called to be a school teacher, called to be a mechanic, called to be a professor, called to be a carpenter, called to be a laborer, called to be a husband, a wife, called to singleness right now, called to be a parent, called to be a godly man, a godly woman. Paul says, I've been called to be an apostle. And he says, separated to the gospel of God. The reason why God called me and separated me, Paul says here in Romans, is for the gospel, the good news. Listen, understand this. The world you and I are living in is in need of the good news more than ever before. More than ever before. The gospel is the power of God. When we start arguing and debating with people on all these other issues, you can. But Paul says, listen, I'm a genius. I, I learned at the feet of Gamaliel. I could argue with the best of them. He goes, but I've been separated to preach the gospel, that Jesus Christ is God's son. He's God in human flesh. He died on the cross for every man and woman's sins. He rose from the dead, proving that God took it. The wrath of God was satisfied and that whosoever calls upon the name of Jesus Christ shall be saved. Paul says, I've been separated to the gospel of God. Verse 2, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Paul says, listen, this isn't new. It's not new. This is not a new truth, Paul says. This is the fulfillment of Genesis through Malachi. This is the fulfillment of all the Old Testament the Torah. This is the fulfillment of Isaiah 53, Psalm 22. This is the fulfillment when Moses said, a prophet greater than I in Deuteronomy will rise up from among you. He was speaking of Yeshua, Ben Yosef, who is now Yeshua HaMashiach. Paul says, listen, this is the gospel God promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Listen, Paul got his marching orders from the word of God. You know, as we study the book of Romans uh, on Sundays and then also here devotionally, we're going to learn the word of God gives us our marching orders. God's word is God's will. We need to grow. You know, I look at the body of Christ today and, and I, I think of what the prophet Hosea says so often. He says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. You know, brother, sister, as we move into the book of Romans, both devotionally and then studiously on Sundays, I want you to realize God wants you to be a Bible student. He wants you to be a student of his word. He wants you to grow in that desire to grow, to learn the Bible, like Paul said to Timothy, to rightly divide the word of truth. We need to grow in this. Be a student. Dig into Romans. I I'm telling you, if, if you just take in Romans, that's one thing. But if Romans goes through you, if the truth of God's word, of the grace of God, of our carnal nature, 
of this flesh, this body of death we live in, but that thanks be to Jesus Christ goes through you. If the truth that you don't need to be conformed to the patterns of this world, but must be transformed by the renewing of your mind goes through you, you will leave this season of your life studying Romans, flying by the power of the Spirit. God will set you free. So let's commit this, these next months to him as we study this powerful book together. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the work you did in Paul the Apostle. We thank you that he was separated unto the gospel. Lord, that he spoke of the promise of your word. He believed your promise. And I pray today for each one of your people, whatever you're promising them from your word, the promises of scripture that are for all of us, I pray they would take hold of those things today. In Jesus' name, amen.